Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take Photoshop Elements and create a 3D anaglyph picture using one single picture. Now 3D anaglyph is the one that is the red and blue or the red and cyan glasses that you normally see from back in the 80s. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to revert my image by going over to edit and then revert and you can go ahead and see that this is the original photo here. Now the first thing that I want to do in this image is I want to double click the word background in my layers palette. What that will do is that will unlock my layer. Now I'm going to go ahead and give this the word red because that's going to be the red side and then I'm going to hit command J that's going to make a copy of that right above it or a duplicated layer. I'm going to go ahead and double click the word red copy and I'm going to type the word cyan. Now cyan is the mixture of blue and green. So what we need to do is on the red layer obviously we need to get rid of the cyan information which is also the blue and green. Now what we need to do is get rid of the red information. A couple ways we can do this but the easiest is to go to our levels. If you want to go to enhance adjust lighting and levels or as you can see you can hit command or control L. So I'm going to go ahead and hit command L. Now what we need to do is rid the information in that channel. So on the cyan if we get rid of the red it is going to leave the blue and green information. So let's go ahead and slide this over and that is going to get rid of the red information. Now what we're going to do is go to the blending mode and we're going to set this to screen right here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our red layer in our layers palette. Now that we know the shortcut, we're going to do a command L. Now, you got it. If we want to keep the red information, we have to zero out the green and blue. So go ahead and click on the green and then take our output level for the white and take it all the way to the left. Then change it to blue and then once again take the white slider all the way to the left and that will leave our red information and then go ahead and select OK. Now the next thing we need to do because it does not look like it's three dimensions now that we've got the cyan information on one layer and the red information on another layer we need to distort this just a little bit with the perspective so that it looks like 3D when we put our glasses on. So in the layers palette we're going to click on the cyan layer then we're going to go over to image transform and perspective and we are going to grab the left side and bring that up just a tiny bit. Now pay particular attention to the height over here. We want to do approximately the same on the red and cyan. So I have 105 percent. I'm going to go ahead and tick the green checkbox right there. Then I'm going to go to my layers palette, click on the red layer. I'm going to go under image, transform, perspective, but this time with the red layer we're going to grab the right side. We're going to go ahead and bring that straight up and we're going to use approximately the same amount which was about hundred and five point something percent. That one might be a little bit too big. And there we go. And when I'm happy, I'm going to go ahead and check the green checkbox. Now you notice it's starting to look three-dimensional. Click on the Move tool. We are going to click the Cyan. And we're going to go ahead and kind of line the Cyan up just a little bit like that. And what I'm doing is, is the picture in the foreground, I'm taking some of that offset between the red and the cyan and I'm taking that away so this one looks like it's close to us and then the picture in the forest part of the background that will look like that has the most depth of field. When I'm happy with that I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the enter key. Now what we need to do is we have this little sliver of red on the right hand side and we need to get rid of that so I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna click on the crop tool I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the corner there I'm going to drag this over and it's probably going to snap and it did. It snapped right over there on the excess red. When I'm happy with that I can hit the enter key or the green checkbox. And there we have it, our 3D anaglyph. Now what we want to do from there is we want to do the file, we want to save as, and we're going to save that as a JPEG 
and then you can go ahead and print that out or you can just look at it on the screen with your cyan and red glasses. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, favorite my videos, and pass my link on to your friends. Cheers!